Hello, Ghostbusters. Yes, of course they're serious. You do? You have? No kidding. Uh-huh. Well, just, uh, just give me the address. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. Oh, they'll be totally discreet. Thank you. We got... June 8th, 1984. Ghostbusters, a comedy film about three eccentric New York City parapsychologists turned Ghostbuster exterminators, was released in the United States. It was produced and directed by Ivan Reitman, and it stars Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Hal Ramis, Rick Moranis, Sigourney Reaver, Annie Potts, and Ernie Hudson. In 2000, readers of Total Film Magazine voted Ghostbusters the 44th greatest comedy of all time. The American Film Institute ranked it 28th in its list of top 100 economies of all time. In 2005, IGN voted Ghostbusters the greatest comedy ever. Now in 2006, Bravo ranked Ghostbusters 76 on their 100 Funniest Movies list. There he is, the unknown ghost walking down the street in the opening of the real Ghostbusters. Boy, this brings back memories. Waking up early on Saturday morning, getting on my PJs, getting a bowl of Lucky Charms, sitting in front of the TV and watching the Ghostbusters. Oh, I love it. And in fact, this wasn't called the Ghostbusters. This was called the real Ghostbusters. There was actually a dispute over the licensing for the name Ghostbusters. In 1975, Filmation made a live action television show called the Ghostbusters. So, um, when they made the Ghostbusters, they had to put the real in front of it so that there would be no dispute over the name title. So that's why this is called the real Ghostbusters. Look at that go. Man, every time I see that, it just gives me goosebumps. In 2004 and again in 2006, Sony released bare-bone episodes of the real Ghostbusters in the United Kingdom and the United States. The DVD release of the Ghostbusters 2 the movie also included two episodes from the series. Citizen Ghost, a story focused on the events immediately after the Battle of Gozer, and Partners in Slime, which featured the psychoactive slime from Ghostbusters 2 and a brief mention of villain Vigo the Carpathian. In 2007, Lifetime announced that they would be responsible for the complete series release of the DVD of The Real Ghostbusters Fall of 2008. This, the five steel cases hold five DVDs inside. Um, you can see they're beautifully decorated on the outside, reflecting about what you're getting into in the series, how it's, how it's progressed. Even down to when you open it up, you have Winston Zedmore, Peter Bankman, Egon Spangler, Ray Stance, and even Slimer. When you pull back the two DVDs, you can see pictures of the neutroner wads that were used, the PKE meters, and even the proton packs. Eat soup separately. No! Proton pack ready. Ghost poppers loaded. Ah, the proton pack. Man, when I saw this, I kid you not, I literally shitted bricks. I remember being a little kid and spazzing out in front of the TV, just in disbelief that they're selling a proton pack. I knew if I got my hands on one of these, I'd be a Ghostbuster. Proton pack and Ghost I bugged the hell out of my parents for real Ghostbusters from Kenner. December 25th, 1987 was a day that will live in infamy for me. I got my first Proton Pack. Man, I was so happy. <laughs> had my Proton Pack, I had a patch on my arm, a PK meter at my side. I was ready to bust ghosts. You could ask my parents, you could ask my sister. I was ready. Nothing else in the world mattered to me that I was going to bust some ghosts. And the firehouse. That was that was awesome. It came with real slime. It came with um, a ecto a, a containment unit. I had the car. I had the figures. I was ready. What kid could ask for anything more? Get 
In A Christmas Story, Ralphie gets a gun. It's a Wonderful Life, George Bailey gets a second chance. I get a proton pack, some ghosts, a patch on my arm, and I'm set. This was the greatest Christmas I've ever had. Not in the dirt now. Okay, what are we gonna do today? In the fall of 1988, at Marine World Africa USA, which is now called Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, they had a special event. They had a special guest coming, and I wasn't told until the night before who they were. And it was Ray Stance and Slimer from the real Ghostbusters. They were going to be there to sign autographs and to take pictures. Now I know why my parents didn't tell me to the night before. Because I didn't sleep at all that night. The next morning, I mean, you can see here, I'm not talking much. That's not because, you know, I, I'm camera shy. It's because I'm going to go see the real Ghostbusters and Slime. Alright, before we continue on with the video, I'm going to, I want you to hear the video as it's being played. Because you can hear how the actor that was playing stands, how he, he sounded just like Aunt Ackroyd. He sounded just like Ackroyd. I'm going to take you through some pictures right now. So the first picture that's being pulled up there, there it is. There it is. That's me right there. That's me with the Ghostbuster. Oh my god. Do you see the look on my face? This is not a look of being nervous. I'm acting as serious as I can because I feel this is like a job interview. I'm applying to be a Ghostbuster. And I wanted to show him that I was serious to take on the responsibility of busting ghosts. This is one of my favorite pictures right here. Me standing in front of the Ghostbuster car. I knew one day that when I got older, I'd be driving that car. Now, I, I, I'm not driving the Ghost, the Ecto-1 right now. But that's why I say, right now. I'll wait till I get a little extra cash in my account before I decide to try to buy it. There I am with my best friend Nick. We posed in front of the Ecto-1 together. Anytime we played, he had to be Peter, and I had to be either Egon or Ray. I like both characters. I like them all. But if I had to choose, I'd probably end up being Ray. This is my sister taking a picture with the Ghostbuster. Now, um, even to this day, she sees something that's Ghostbuster. She automatically thinks of me. Uh, hopefully it's out of good thoughts. I probably knew it just annoyed the hell out of her. Be running around the house screaming, Get that ghost! Look out! Blast him! Throw the trap! There I am with Slimer. Now, when I saw him coming down the pathway, I my mind was blown. I was thinking, I'm actually seeing Slimer coming down the pathway. Um, after getting a closer look at him, um, it, it was just a costume. But still, I'm standing next to Slimer. This is the last picture of the day, and one of my favorite pictures of my childhood because I have Ghostbusters and I have my sister. Because that's really that's all I needed when I was growing up was Ghostbusters and my sister. I would say about two As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, I see a big, green, slimy object heading this way. So why did I make this video? It wasn't to gloat, no. But to show everyone what I liked as a child. And I still like today. And I feel that's what a lot of people need to do. Refer back to their childhood. Now I don't mean diapers and all that stuff, no. But to find a moment in their childhood where they felt safe and they believed. At that time, I believed in ghosts. I still do to this day. But I believed that four guys could actually start a business and capture ghosts and make little kids feel safe to sleep at night. Ray, throw the music on. Let's get this going. Eat them up.